Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, April 18th, 2024. This is a very, very, very specific five for probably a very small amount of listeners, if there are any even who listen to the, these fives that are Yankees fans. But I did want to take the, the time to talk about the, the very, very well-known and recently retired announcer, John Sterling. Now, John Sterling has been announcing Yankees games since 1989 and at one point had done over 5,000 consecutive called games without missing one, which is a remarkable achievement. And Sterling is in his mid-80s. He is 85. And so there have been, there's been talk that he would probably be retiring. Honestly, a lot of people thought he would during the pandemic. It would seem, it seemed like for a lot of folks, that would be the natural point for him to step back and say, okay, you know, at this point in my life, I, I'm kind of, ready to retire and step back. But instead he kept going and only renounced his retirement. I want to say on Monday, I think it was Monday when it was confirmed that he was retiring effective immediately. And and many people are speculating it's health related, which wouldn't be a surprise. Again, he's 85 and this is not an easy job for anybody to do. He will be in a ceremony on Saturday. So it does seem like he's in at least good enough health to show up at the stadium and be able to, properly retire in front of fans. So I look forward to watching that. And honestly, if you look around, if you have the interest, then you will find a lot of people who will talk about the fact that John Sterling really defined Yankees baseball for them. And I know that's certainly the case for me. I vividly remember listening to him calling games, driving back and forth with my father from uh, the shop that my father owned when I was younger and We'd be listening to ball games and John Sterling's voice just became like other voices for other sports teams for others. It just became the Yankees voice. You knew that voice like Phil Rizzuto and uh, what's the Vin Scully for the Dodgers. Certainly a lot of Dodgers fans know Vin Scully and we'll know that that voice was essentially the Dodgers voice. And that was John Sterling for me. He was a divisive broadcaster. I think that's fair to say his style was. Not for everybody, although you will find that many people, even people who did not like listening to him, still recognize his contribution in terms of broadcasting. And he is certainly a Hall of Fame broadcaster, and I have no doubt he will immediately go into that hall a long time, alongside other great announcers. Like I said, Vin Scully, John Miller of the Giants. The Giants actually have a fantastic announcing staff, if you've never listened to them. The, the San Francisco Giants, they have a stable of really great radio people, a radio and TV people. And John Sterling, along with Susan Waldman, have been, that has been baseball for me. I I don't follow every single team in in baseball. Basically, it's the Giants and the Yankees. I'm really only the Giants because my wife is a fan. But my lifelong dedication is to the Yankees. And again, I I have heard Sterling and Waldman for so long that not hearing his voice is so notable to me. I, I, you know, anytime, because obviously in recent years, he's taken more time off. Because again, 80s, this is this is not a job that you can just keep doing forever uh, because it does involve a lot of effort. And so when he would take vacations or not travel with the team, which he had done in the last, I think, two years, he hadn't traveled with the team. There was just an immediate absence there. And, you know, the other thing is once you start getting older, you start looking around and you start realizing that a lot of the people that you grew up with and, and really enjoyed having around, well, they're going to start retiring or they're going to start actually just dying because... Everybody ages and time goes on, and that's just how it is. But it was weird because I just never felt like John Sterling would ever not be announcing the Yankees, even though, of course, in my mind, I knew that. That couldn't possibly go on forever. But it wasn't like seeing aging movie stars or whatever, or musicians, where you just kind of get used to the fact that, okay, they're not going to be doing this forever. But maybe it was because it was a voice on the TV and a voice on the radio, and so I never really put together the age to it. But it is... I have to admit it is because I don't really get melancholy about a lot of celebrities and people in the public eye. I've said that before, and that's generally pretty true. But such a large part of my youth was listening to John Sterling doing Yankees games. And so the idea, I mean, Susan Waldman will still be doing them, which is great. But she's also in her, I think think she's 77. So she's not going to be doing it forever either. And at some point, Yankees games are going to sound just completely different to me. I mean, they already do to some extent because John Sterling isn't there. So I wanted to just take a couple of minutes, five to be exact, and talk about John Sterling as a a wonderful broadcaster, a part of my youth, and someone who has contributed immensely to the history of the New York Yankees. And that's it. Later.